Hey everyone, welcome to Easy Coding. Today we are going to discuss about polymorphism. So we will see overloading concept in this session. And in the coming sessions we will discuss overriding concept and other concept of polymorphism. So let's get started. So in this video we are going to discuss about what is polymorphism, what are the different types of polymorphism, method overloading and where you have used polymorphism I mean method overloading in selenium framework. Okay, so we will see what is polymorphism. Polymorphism is ability to take more than one form that is it's having more than one form that is multiple forms. So polymorphism in Java is a concept by which we can perform a single action in different ways. So polymorphism is derived from two Greek words that is poly and morphs. Poly means many, morphs means forms. So what is meaning of that? Many forms. That we have already discussed that is is a concept by which we can perform single action in different ways that is multiple ways so the word poly means many and morphs means forms so polymorphism means many forms and there are two types of polymorphism in java that is compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism it's also called dynamic polymorphism and static polymorphism and the polymorphism can be achieved by overloading and overriding we can perform polymorphism in Java by method overloading and method overriding. So we will see what is method overloading in Java. Suppose if we have a class that is having more than one method with similar name but the data type or number of arguments is different that is if we have a class and a class having two methods both are say, having the same name but the number of data number of uh, parameters or the type of parameter is different that is called method overloading so we will see if a class has multiple methods having same name but different in parameters that is the arguments are different it is all it is known as method overloading so if you have to perform only one operation having the same name of the method increases the readability of the program so this is one advantage of method overloading that in increases the readability of the program so we will uh, see one example then it would be more clear suppose you have to perform addition of the given numbers but there can be any number of arguments if you write the methods such as a of in comma in for two parameters and a b of in comma in comma in for three parameters then it may be difficult for you as well as the programmer to understand the behavior of the method because its name is different right for first one it is a a and the second one it is b so uh, we perform method overloading to figure out the program quickly so it will increase the readability of the program if we give the same name for same operation so here you can see the first method name is a and the second method name is b but both are going to perform same operation so we can use the same name for the second function also that is uh, this a can be used here that is instead of b we can use the same name a so let's move on to the next one that is advantage of method overloading that is we already discussed uh, it will increase the readability of the program and now we will move on to different ways to overload the method so there are two ways to overload the method that is uh, by changing the number of arguments or by changing the type of argument so we will see there are two ways to overload the method in java by changing number of arguments or by changing the data type so we will see method overloading by using changing the number of arguments so in this example let me show you the example okay in this example we have created two methods that first one is add of int a comma int a comma int b and it's returning a plus b and uh, we have another method that is uh, int add of a in the a comma in b comma in c and the first method having two parameters and the second method is having three parameters and both methods are returning the uh, sum of the corresponding arguments the first method returning a plus b and the second method returning a plus b plus c so we have one main method what we are doing add to add of 11 comma 11 these are the two arguments and for the other one here we can see three parameters other so we are passing three parameters so in this example we are uh, creating static method so that we don't need to create instance for calling the method that's why we have used so in this way this is called changing the number of arguments 
method overloading by changing the number of arguments here you can see we have one method add and another method as add here we have only two uh, arguments and in the other method we have three arguments so compiler can identify both the methods from the arguments that is uh, one is having two and other one is having three parameter so if we call adder dot add then it will call automatically the first method because it's having two parameters and if we call adder dot add with the three parameters it will call the second method that is number of arguments then let's move on to the next one that is method overloading changing data type of arguments so uh, let's see the same example class adder and we have uh, two static functions that is in add of in a comma in b and the next one is static double add of double a comma double b okay and in the main method we are calling adder dot add of 11 comma 11 so these are integer functions so which which we have seen in the previous example so it will call which method i mean the first method it will call it will return the sum of a plus b and the next one we have uh, we are adder dot add of 12.3 comma 12.6 that is the double double uh, data type is used that is we have changed the data type the function name is same that is overloading method overloading so function name is same but it's having different type of argument so this is another way of creating i mean uh, doing method overloading by changing the type of arguments and another one is the by changing the number of argument so the compiler can easily identify here you can see both the methods are having two parameters so compiler can identify by using the input i mean the parameters which we are passing here we can see the data type is double so let's move on to the next one that is why method overloading is not possible by changing the return type of method only so this is an important interview question so we have the same class class adder and we have one method int add of int a comma in b return it's returning a plus b and we have another method the data type is different that is i mean return type is different that is double add of int a comma in b here you can see only difference is in the double i mean the uh, return type is different so in the main method uh, system dot out dot print ln adder dot add of while uh, the main method is calling the corresponding method so adder dot add of 11 comma 11 so there is a confusion which method to call here you can see both are integer so uh, if we check in the corresponding class we have two methods called add and we have two methods with the same type of argument and the same number of argument so there is a confusion that is both are having integer values and same number of argument both are having two and here it's also two so there is a confusion so that's why uh, return type changing is not supported i mean over, over i mean we cannot overload by changing the return type of a method the only two ways are by changing the number of arguments or by changing the uh, uh, data type of the arguments so uh, return type uh, by changing the return type only we cannot do anything i mean we cannot do overloading next one is also an important interview question can we overload java main method yes we can overload java main method but the only thing is the jvm will uh, call the uh, the method which is passing uh, argument as a string array that's the difference so we will see but jvm calls main method which receives string array as argument only so let's see one example that is here you can see class test overloading for public static void main string array args system dot 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 print main with the string this is a main with a string array so the jvm will call, call only this method and the next one is public static void main string args system dot 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 main with the string the, here you can see the argument is different this is string the previous one was string array and for the next one there is no uh, arguments so in this way we can overload the main method as well this is also one important interview question now let's move on to method overloading in selenium where we have actually used overloading in selenium and in the page object model framework so we all use implicit way to make the page wait for some specified time interval so this is the best example of method overloading that is we are uh, providing time stamp as time your like second minutes extra so that is the best example so we will see the code for that we have driver dot manage dot timeout dot implicit weight of one comma time unit dot minutes so which means that it's in minutes and the time unit is one and the arguments is 
one comma time unit in minutes these are the two arguments so in the next one we will see that is 30 comma time unit dot seconds the first one was minute and the second one was second so this is a uh, perfect example of overloading that is we are using different type of argument i mean different uh, data type for the argument and another example i hope you all are familiar with the test ng if you are familiar with the test ng you can say this uh, example as well that is almost all the methods present in the assert class in test ng are overloaded methods so here you can see assert dot assert true of boolean condition string message that is we here you can see two uh, two parameters for the same method assert dot assert true of this one here only we have one uh, one parameter that is difference in the number of parameters so this is a perfect example that is both are having the same uh, name same method name but it's having different parameter different number of parameters and the next one is assert dot fail the first one is having no parameters and the second one it's having one parameter and the third one it's having two parameters so this is also assert dot fail is also example of method overloading and the next one is assert dot assert equals of this is also difference i mean here you can see uh, the difference in number of here uh, all the number of uh, arguments are same but the difference is in the type of argument here you can see first one is in both are in and for the next one both are byte and next one both are care so this is method overloading this one you can say uh, if you are familiar with the test ng otherwise you can say simply say the uh, implicit weight example so this is all about method overloading in java so you have to uh, be sure about the uh, too frequently asked interview question that is main method can be overloaded uh, and the other one is the uh, can be overload a method by changing its uh, return type so that's it no so these are the two points you should remember so we will discuss method overriding and other concept of polymorphism in the coming sessions uh, so thank you so much for watching